G'day, Glav here. Today we ride Brisbane, Canungra for breakfast, the Hins Dam, up the range to Beachmont, across to Mount Tambourine, a drink at Curtis Falls, I call in a mate at Tambourine Village, then home, about 230 kilometres all up. Getting out of Brisbane is fairly ordinary and a bit of a boring ride, but it gets a whole lot better after that. Canungra from the Brisbane CBD is about 70 kilometres and only about 30 odd kilometres from the Gold Coast. A small regional town with a population of about 1,300, supports local agriculture and also there's an Australian Army base situated nearby. It's got lots of cafes, restaurants and pubs to have a feed and drink at. Good spot to stop during the week, however I've been there on the weekend and it's pretty bloody busy and full of visitors, both cages and bikes. The next bit of road, we're going from Canungra down to the Hins Dam at Advanced Town, about 22 kilometres, is not a bad bit of road. was constructed in 1976 and made bigger in 1989. It's the major water catchment for the Gold Coast. It's a nice place to stop if you haven't been there before with nice views around the dam and a good cafe inside the facility in case you need a feed or a drink. From here the next stop is up the range to Beachmont, about 15 kilometres ride and it's a fantastic twisty piece of road for motorcycles. Beachmont, the Gold Coast hinterland, has a population of about 800, positioned on a forested ridge leading from Lamington Plateau to Tambourine Mountain. Outstanding views in nearly all directions if you get a good clear day. As you see from the video today, we look out to the Gold Coast as shown here. From what I can see on the ridge here, there's only one cafe along that road and it's opposite the last lookout. From here it's a really nice ride across the top of the range to our next stop at Mount Tambourine North which is about 43 kilometres away.
Watch this, watch this, watch this. Break, break, break. Whoops. Bet your ass is twitching now, mate. Tambourine is a volcanic peak that sits about 550 metres above sea level. To the east, you'll sometimes see Surface Paradise, the Pacific Ocean. It's only really a 20 minute ride. To the west is a mountain range known as the Scenic Rim. Tambourine is a very popular spot for bikers with narrow and windy roads that wander across the mountain and down and up the mountain. It's a very popular tourist destination, so therefore very busy on weekends and holidays. It has everything here, cafes, restaurants, B&B, wineries, etc. From here, we'll just head down the road a few kilometres to Curtis Falls for a drink to cool down. It's a really bloody hot day today. Curtis Falls, a quick cool drink and then we're on our way home with me breaking away to call in to see a mate at Tambourine Village. A nice twisty bit of bike heaven road between here and the bottom Tambourine Village. <laughs> Brisbane, first 20 kilometres is okay, but fairly ordinary city riding after that. <laughs> 